What's up guys? Today, we're gonna be teaching you guys about leak down and compression test. This is our boy Yimi's car. He just bought it from San Jose. So tell us, Ronnie. Yeah, we're, so we're just doing a full inspection on it for him. So, you know, we can see if there's any uh, anything that sticks out. We did a compression test. It was one, 150 all across, which is very good. Uh, that doesn't tell uh, all of the story, unfortunately. So we usually follow that by a leak down test. Uh, and what a leak down test is essentially is uh, all we're trying to do is we're gonna uh, bring that the cylinder that we're testing we're gonna bring it up to top that center uh, meaning both the intake and exhaust valves are closed and the piston is at top that center uh, at the point that it's dwelling straight up and um, it has to be under compression stroke obviously because if it's not then uh, the valves are gonna be open so once it's at that point what we're gonna do is we're gonna screw this in uh, this is just an air hose that comes with your cylinder leak down kit um, and we're gonna slowly put pressure in the cylinder. I say slowly because if you shock the cylinder, if you put too much, it can actually rotate back and you would have to start all over again. So um, the way we determine top that center is actually we, we, uh, we screw the hose in there first and someone, or in this case, I'm gonna do it. Yeah, I'm gonna do it, Jeff. You got it? Okay, yeah, okay, my bad, man. So what we're trying to achieve here is I have my finger on top of this and I'm gonna try to rotate the crankshaft. And what I'm trying to get a feel for is the compression force trying to escape the hose basically. So my finger's on it, but every time I'm turning it, I'm slowly letting go of my finger. So if there's any compression, you guys can audibly hear it and we hear it and we know it's on the compression stroke TDC. So, or it's on, on its way to TDC on the compression stroke. So let's go. You guys hear that? I'm gonna do it one more time so you guys hear it. It's basically trying to build compression because the valves are closed. So now that we have that, we get a flat, it doesn't have to be a flat head, doesn't have to be a Phillips, whatever. The thinnest screwdriver that you can get that's long. Make sure the tip is clean, obviously. You don't wanna put any foreign contaminants in the motor. You put that in there and you slowly bring it up until it stops. Now, you gotta be careful because there's a dwell point on the cylinder, which means when it comes to the top, it'll stop and it'll actually go back down. If you don't pay close attention, you'll actually be on the downstroke. And when you try to put pressure in it, it's gonna, you know, the motor's gonna turn over again. So, so it's stopping and it's going down. And I always do that just to make sure. So now I'm gonna go back just a little bit. I'm gonna do it one more time. And that's it. It's stopped right there. It's at the dwell. So. Now, what we do is we get our air hose. We'll hook it back in there again. We'll make sure we back this knob all the way because we don't, like I said, we don't want to shock the cylinder. So now, what we're going to do is we're going to slowly increase. And ideally, you want a linear increase in pressure and leakage. So as you guys can see, at 40 pounds, we're right under 60 PSI. So that's the 60%, that is perfect. So at 100 PSI, we have about one or 2% leakage and I'm gonna take an educated guess and say it's coming through the ring, so you take the camera towards that, hopefully the GoPro will pick it up. But it's definitely coming through the rings. It's literally about 2%. That's that's as healthy of a motor as you're gonna get with how many miles you make? Uh it's 23,000 on an OEM short block and a fully built head. And I believe that because those are very healthy numbers. And that's how you do a leak down test to basically know the health of your motor. Make sure if you guys are doing a compression test, if you guys are trying to buy a used car especially, don't just do a compression test because that doesn't basically give away all the story. Do a leak down test, it really doesn't take long. You can borrow this tool from AutoZone or whatever. You just basically give them your license and they give you the tool. You don't even have to pay for it. Or buy one if you work on cars because it, it comes in handy. We use this probably, what, Jeffrey, like five, six times a week? Yes, sir. Yeah, so that's how you do a leak down test.